Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're gonna beat President Putin. President Zelensky. Thank you so much. In case you didn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. But I think she was not qualified to be president. So let's start there. In case you didn't know. <laughs> and now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. In case you didn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president. But I think she was not qualified to be president. So let's start there. <laughs> And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. Thank you so much. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Thank you so much. What concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is that I think I'm the most qualified person to run for President. I beat him once and I will beat him again. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. Thank you so much. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. But I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. Donald Trump is using that to mock your age and your memory. How do you combat that criticism from tonight? Listen to him. President this concludes tonight's press conference. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. I've taken three significant and intense neurological exams by, the neuro by a, neurosur a neurologist. In each case, as recently as February. And they say, I'm in good shape, okay? Right now, Donald Trump is using that to mock your age and your memory. How do you combat that criticism from tonight? Listen to him. We've had some discussions over the past few days with your press secretary about the question of health exams. And you said you take a cognitive test every day in this job. Are you open to taking another physical or test before the election Governor Whitmer of Michigan, for instance, said it wouldn't hurt to take a test. Well, look, two things. One, I've taken three significant and intense neurological exams by, the neuro by a, neurosur a neurologist. In each case, as recently as February. And they say I'm in good shape, okay? Although I do have a little problem with my left foot because it's not as sensitive because I broke my foot and didn't wear the boot. But, but, but I'm, I'm good. 
I'm tested every single day by my neurological capacity, the decisions I make every day. You talk to my staff, all of you talk to my staff. Sometimes my staff talks a lot. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, I don't think you have them telling you that all the major ideas we've undertaken haven't been in part initiated by me. I remember with the staff and I said, I'm going to go to South Korea, we're going to get the chip. What are you doing? I'm going to get Japan and Korea back together again after not essentially having hostilities toward one another since the end of World War II. I'm going to move and see that we can expand it. You know, the only thing age does is help you with it. It creates a little bit of wisdom if you pay attention. And so the point I'm making is, I think it's important that I, if, if, my, if the neurologist tells me he thinks I need another exam, and by the way, I've, I've laid every bit of the record out, hadn't done, hadn't, 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 a, hadn't a thing. You ought to ask Trump for his, okay? I've, I laid it all out. And every single day I'm surrounded by good docs. If they think there's a problem, I promise you, or even if they don't think it's a problem, they think I should have a neurological exam again, I'll do it. But no one's suggesting that to me now. And I'll ask you another question. No matter what I did, no one's going to be satisfied. Did you have seven docs? Did you have two? Who'd you have? Did you do this? How many times did you? So I am not opposed that my doctors tell me they should, I should have another neurological exam, I'll do it. But that's where I am. Respectfully, earlier you misspoke in your opening answer you referred to Vice President Harris as Vice President Trump. Right now, Donald Trump is using that to mock your age and your memory. How do you combat that criticism from tonight? Listen to him. President this concludes tonight's press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone.